In the latter part of 2022, it was noticed that a sire down in Vinton, Louisiana was catching tons of attention because of his amazingly high percentage of winners from only a limited crop of runners. And then throw in the fact that from only nine starters, he was able to sire the winner of the restricted grade one, one million dollar Louisiana million fraternity in the Duke. Now, StallionEsearch.com has teamed up with Benny Jeter and Delta Equine to produce a sire spotlight of this son of Corona's leaving you that showed an amazingly upward swing of the number of mares bred in 2023 versus his first two years in the breeding shed. On this sire spotlight, follow along to see the surge of interest in this sire as he makes his way into superstardom in RC Me Leaving You. The Reboot we're coming into this breeding season with some, some good optimism. Coming off of the breeder's tree, the grade one win with, by the Duke, um, my phone has been ringing off the hook. So, you know, that's got us excited for this upcoming breeding season. What we did, his first crop, we didn't, ho I, we didn't have but, I don't know, six very few starters because we couldn't breed, we didn't breed hardly any mares. And in his first crop, he had 70% winners and had a grade one winner in his very, very first crop of only a, a five or six uh, two-year-old runners. With the Salyan putting one in the winter circle of our richest race in Louisiana, that really sets us up for, sets him up for a really good breeding season. With the grade one win, he's really, he's, he's on the radar for a lot of breeders now. And um, we're optimistic we'll get a good 50 or 60 mares this breeding season. We had to, we had to market this horse because of the low crop that he had, we had to get it out there to the people of this horse's, how he was producing winners, how he's producing un, unbelievable amount of winners per starts, per starters. He was a diamond in the rough. This is the bargain of a lifetime. Starting off breeding season here in uh, southwest Louisiana, you know, our humidity's through the roof, it's wet, and that makes that, makes that cold wind uh, brutal, you know. So it's, uh, it can be tough, tough working conditions. Um, you know, we've, I've experienced that, that up north, dry or cold, and down here when that wind hits you, it just cuts through every layer that you have on. He's a tough cookie. He really enjoys it down here. He's, he's thriving. He's thriving. When breeding season comes around, you know, he really starts to bloom. Uh, easy, easy to easy to handle, easy keeper. We really love him. The most amazing thing about him is is his percentage of winners off of such such little runners. Um, you know, beforehand he wasn't really on anybody's radar. We, you know, really tried to push him, but there's a lot of good stallions out there, and it's tough. So we had a real small crop for that first year, and he really just took what he had and he proved it. And that's where our marketing started. You know, we really wanted to get those numbers in front of breeders to see that you know it doesn't take much for this guy to throw a runner. And then, and then the Duke pops up and wins the uh, million dollar fraternity. So uh, we really were optimistic that that was going to snowball. We started to get that in front of people, and you know we were optimistic to have a you know 50 or 60 mare book uh, coming into 2023. Be sure to follow along with this series as we watch the rise of popularity of RC Me Leaving You as he caught the attention of breeders not only in Louisiana but across the nation in the quarter horse racing world.